Welcome to Common Prayer Daily, your guided meditation through scripture and prayer. This is a liturgy for evening prayer for the Tuesday after Sexagesima Sunday. Let's pray. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Let us humbly confess our sins unto Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life. To the glory of your holy name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices. O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Psalm 11 In the Lord have I taken refuge. How then can you say to me, Fly away like a bird to the hilltop? For see how the wicked bend the bow and fit their arrows to the string, to shoot from ambush at the true of heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in His holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold the inhabited world. His piercing eye weighs our worth. The Lord weighs the righteous as well as the wicked, but those who delight in violence He abhors. Upon the wicked he shall rain coals of fire and burning sulfur. A scorching wind shall be their lot. For the Lord is righteous. He delights in righteous deeds, and the just shall see his face. Psalm 12 Help me, Lord, for there is no godly one left. The faithful have vanished from among us. Everyone speaks falsely with his neighbor, with a smooth tongue, They speak from a double heart. Oh, that the Lord would cut off all smooth tongues and close the lips that utter proud boast. Those who say, with our tongue we will prevail, our lips are our own, who is Lord over us? Because the needy are oppressed and the poor cry out in misery. I will rise up, says the Lord, and give them the help they long for. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver refined from ore and purified seven times in the fire. O Lord, watch over us. 
and save us from this generation forever. The wicked prowl on every side, and that which is worthless is highly prized by everyone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Amos, beginning with the sixth chapter, the first verse. Woe to those who are at ease in Zion, and to those who feel secure on the mountain of Samaria, the notable men of the first of the nations, to whom the house of Israel comes. Pass over to Kalna and see, and from there go to Hamath the great, then go down to Gath of the Philistines. Are you better than these kingdoms, or is their territory greater than your territory? O you who put far away the day of disaster, and bring near the seat of violence, Woe to those who lie on beds of ivory and stretch themselves out on their couches and eat lambs from the flock and calves from the midst of the stall, who sing idle songs to the sound of the harp and like David invent for themselves instruments of music, who drink wine in bowls and anoint themselves with the finest oils, but are not grieved over the ruin of Joseph. Therefore they shall now be the first of those who go into exile." and the revelry of those who stretch themselves out shall pass away. The Lord God has sworn by himself, declares the Lord, the God of hosts. I abhor the pride of Jacob and hate his strongholds, and I will deliver up this city and all that is in it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Galatians beginning with the fourth chapter, the first verse. I mean that the heir, as long as he is a child, is no different from a slave, though he is the owner of everything, but he is under guardians and managers until the date set by his father. In the same way, we also, when we were children, were enslaved to the elementary principles of the world. But when the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of a woman, born under the law to redeem those who were under the law so that we might receive adoption as sons. And because you are sons, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir through God. Formerly, when you did not know God, you were enslaved to those that by nature are not gods. But now that you have come to know God, or rather to be known by God, How can you turn back again to the weak and worthless elementary principles of the world, whose slaves you want to be once more? You observe days and months and seasons and years. I am afraid I may have labored over you in vain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit and the communion of all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Take a moment at this time to reflect and pray for the needs of others. O Lord God, you who see that we do not put our trust in anything that we do, mercifully grant that by your power we may be defended against all adversity. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Most holy God, the source of all good desires, all right judgments and all just works, give to us your servants that peace which the world cannot give so that our minds may be fixed on the doing of your will, and that we, being delivered from the fear of all enemies, may live in peace and quietness through the mercies of Christ Jesus our Savior. Amen. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, We, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining us on Common Prayer Daily. 
If you enjoy this podcast, consider subscribing, liking, rating, and reviewing on your favorite podcast app. You can also find out more about us at commonprayerdaily.com and become a supporter of this podcast at patreon.com slash commonprayerdaily. If you like more prayer, join us again tomorrow morning for a liturgy of morning prayer. May God bless and may the peace of the Lord be with you.